Okay, so here I've got a Fujifilm Finepix HS30 DSR camera. It's got a fixed um, lens, and what I'm going to say is I'm going to clean out this dust that you can see just in the middle there. Um, that's become trapped with just you know, the use of the zoom, uh, which I apparently it's normal with cameras like this with any lens you've seen. I've got my um, cloth and I've got a precision screwdriver set. It's flat and loop screwdrivers I've been using here. So the first thing we need to do is take out this um, ring around here with the numbers on. Um, obviously being very careful not to scratch the lens. And before that I'm going to use a flat screwdriver with the cloth in between the screwdriver so I don't scratch or break the lens. So, I've got it ready here, yeah, the flat bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently pry out the edges each side. I've already done it beforehand. Um, and then just gently take off the ring. And then what we have here is double-sided tape that was holding the ring and three small screws. Before that we need to take out this um, ring of double-sided tape carefully again not to damage the lens. I've got my little niece here who's watching me fix the camera now. I'm recording it, she's decided to move away. Hello. Hello, my nurse. Are you learning? So now I'm just gently taking off the tape. Very gentle not to hit the uh, edge of the lens, which is there. Okay, so now that the three screws are off, um, you can take this next ring off. Gently and make sure you keep your screws safe and make sure you do use a good screwdriver I had these which did mess up one of the uh, the threads um, and then I had to use um, other provisions to try and take it off but I managed to without any scratches to the lens so be careful and now we can take these next three screws off and I believe there might be springs under them so just be careful okay now that these three screws are out um, nothing can come off really so uh, it's held by these glue pieces here which is all the way around um, so next part to what we need to do is uh, mark from the lens body this bit here onto the main body there um, mainly so that when we put everything back together again it's all in line um, so you can see that I've used a red marker just to make some lines here here and here so I just can match everything back together okay now we can take off um, the lens body and I would say gently just very gently just lift all these so the glue breaks here the glue here um, probably just hold the lens with one hand and then just lift it equally sort of there all around again being very careful not to touch the lens and then once you take care of there should be springs under here here and here okay so finally the lens is off and you can see the dust just there which is obviously on the inner side and then the lens uh, here it's got dust as well and then you can see the springs 
here which um, we need to remove because they're not glued on or anything and then we can use uh, a lint free cloth to clean the lens very carefully okay when you do clean the inner lens and the outer lens make sure that you're in a dust free environment because you don't want more dust being attracted to the lenses um, and then just be careful not to scratch either lens and you know just take your time really once you have clean uh, both lenses just double check there's no dust I think that's just smears on the outer side of the outer lens which is fine but taking the main dust off and um, what you need to do is put these springs back on these three little holes not the big holes the little ones and there's a little sort of raised plastic part which will guide it okay once you're happy with the cleaning um, you can put the outer lens back on top of the uh, spring mounted body and just make sure you put it back um, with those marks you made before so that everything is in line you can put the screws on um, next uh, make sure it's the smaller shorter screws not these longer ones that go on onto the main body and the ring afterwards but these short ones and once you are putting them on make sure you tighten them one turn at a time so that everything is even and balanced and the lens underneath doesn't crack okay um, once you've put the screws back on and tighten them you don't want to over tighten them too much um, as, I mean I'm not even sure myself how tight they need to be but I wouldn't risk um, pushing the screws too much otherwise the lens might crack and, and that's it um, and once once you're happy with that I've just taken a few um, test shots and they all seem to be fine no sort of dust or um, blurriness in the middle of the lens so I'm going to put everything back together now this ring will go on next um, with the screws and then I'll put this double sided tape which I've saved um, on top of that and then put this last ring back on and that should be it